who's come in, Susie Turbo, who is the vice chair of the Democratic National Committee. And as she comes up, I want Larry's come in from the governor's office camp. He also chairs the Hispanic Caucus and Tammy chairs the Women's Caucus. So say hi to them. And Susie's come from Washington, worked with her for a long time. She gets these issues. <laughs> but I got my heels on. I grew up in Ohio, okay? Not Michigan, but I'm going to tell you, I have a challenge for you. I grew up in Cleveland, and I listened to CKLW every night growing up. And I went to camp in Michigan. And I know there's a little rivalry, I think, between Ohio and Ohio. I sort of heard about it. My husband grew up in Columbus. Oh. Did you leave us there? But I'll tell you how I grew up. I grew up the way you grew up. My dad was a teamster. He drove a cab. My mom worked in a department store, May Company, and sold, and sold clothes. That's what she did. And they worked hard so their kids could go to college. And we all got college loans, and we all went to college. And we've done better in, in economically for our families. And now I have a 28-year-old who works two jobs, one of them so that he can have health insurance. And you all know what that's like. You all know it because we're all living it. And I was really happy last week because Barack Obama said one thing. Enough. Yeah. 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 Enough. Here we were eight years ago before George Bush, and think about another, a third term of George Bush the, with John oh. McCain. Oh. More of the same, more of the same with McCain. That's right. Remember that. Maybe think about a surplus that we had and the nine trillion dollar deficit that we have, where we're paying 400,000, million, no, billion, 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 dollars a year in debt, Interest. in debt, and who's it in debt to? China, Saudi Arabia, okay, where our jobs are where our jobs are. Think about it. And we're financing those jobs. We're fighting both sides of the war. We're fighting both sides of the war on our jobs. And so I have to all I have to tell you is this. Enough. Enough. Because Barack Obama offers something different. It's change we can believe in. He's talking about making sure that our kids have child, that child health insurance program, S-CHIP. Carolyn talked about it. S-CHIP, make sure that kids have health insurance. And what did President Bush do? He vetoed that. And what did John McCain do? He voted for the veto. Five kids in every single classroom across this country don't have health insurance. And that just doesn't mean something for those kids. Think about your kids sitting next to those kids and get it. And you, we know what happens when you have chicken pox, for example. And we know what happens, all of us who are parents and send kids to school. Or we're kids where everyone was sick at the same time. Think about it. Think about somebody who vetoes and then someone who supports children's health insurance. Think about it. Enough. That's the answer. Say louder. Enough. 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 I told you my dad's a cab driver, and I was driving along, and I was talking to a cab driver, and this was last summer, and he told me he had to drive extra every day, because he was spending another $60 a day on gasoline. Well, if he was spending $60 a day, he had to drive more, and drive more, and drive more. And that's what's happening right now. It was 60 last summer, it must be 80 this summer. And if it's eight, it was 80 now, what that means is this guy has to work an extra four hours every day just to break even, just to break even. So folks, enough, enough. 80 is enough. 
Don't steal it. Okay. <laughs> you guys have to take Michigan. I'm, I'm giving you a challenge to take Michigan for Barack Obama and Joe Biden even bigger than Ohio is going to take Michigan. Yeah. 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 Thank you.